Today I will be replacing the Ender 3, the original build tag surface. You can see from my build tag surface, as you can see, it has gotten a lot of use. I will be replacing it with the PEI build surface from Creality. I can tell you from experience that PLA and PETG have no problem bonding to the surface. As a matter of fact, it's often difficult to get rid of all these uh, little one line, a single layer uh, plastic. The only reason why I'm replacing this bed surface with the PEI sheet is because as you can see it's gotten a lot of use and there is a little bit of warping in the middle. The only time I had problems with PLA and PETG bonding to the surface was in the beginning when I did not know how close the nozzle had to be in relation to the bed. So if it's not sticking to the bed, that means your bed is not completely level and uh, your nozzle is probably too high to the bed. So I've already replaced the bed with a PEI sheet. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So far, my impressions of the PEI sheet is really good. But check back within three months in the description below to see if I still like it or not. It looked like the outer package got a little bit of a ding, but the inside was intact and it was really nicely packaged inside. I've read good reviews on these 3M adhesives, so I appreciate that they use the 3Ms instead of another brand. We have the PEI top coat, the metal plate, and the magnetic surface to install. This protective plastic sheet was a little loose, but it didn't really bother me as much. The PEI surface was clean, and after many uses, the surface will get scratched up. Out with the old and in with the new. Clean the surface with some isopropyl alcohol. You can use a paper towel. Rub the surface and let it dry. Peel only about an inch of adhesive from the bottom. Flip and align the top of the bed with the magnetic sheet. Align the two top corners using light pressure. Lay the magnetic sheet and see if it aligns with the bottom two corners. Readjust if necessary. Otherwise, continue with the process. You can use your old paper towel. Try to squeegee out all the air bubbles between the bed and the magnet by putting a lot of pressure. Little by little, start peeling the adhesive backing while squeegeeing out the air bubbles on the bed. Repeat this process until you reach the end. Make sure you do a thorough job and remove all the air bubbles and get a good adhesion. Lay the PEI sheet on top of the magnetic bed. Remove the protective plastic. I wanted to check the edges of the plate to see how sharp it is. If it's too sharp, you're going to cut your fingers and you don't want that. Initially, there was some abrasiveness to it and I thought it was the actual metal sheet. It was the PEI top coat, so it was nothing to worry about. I did have to readjust the Z offset to about a little under 0.2 millimeters higher than the previous setting when I had the build tack. So comparing it to my CR Tennis Pro, which has the PEX surface, the Creality PEI surface, I think has a better bonding for the PLA and PETG.
Plus, I like the fact that the PEI sheet was already attached to the metal plate. I was pleasantly surprised that I did not have to scuff up the top surface. It had good adhesion right away as opposed to the Wham Bam PEX system where I had to scuff up the surface to get good bonding. In my opinion, the attraction from the magnetic surface to the metal plate seems to be stronger on the Creality system than the Wham Bam system. But this may be due to that Creality system is new and we'll have to see after many uses if the heated bed affects the magnetic properties in this system. So guys, I thank you for watching this video. Um, again, check back within three months to see an update of this uh, review. Please, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks.